Hello, and welcome to Ask Ben, the wit and wisdom of Benjamin Franklin. Now, in this program, we attempt to answer your questions well as if Ben would. Now, I have a letter from a Ernest Green of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, a young lad of 13 summers. And Ernest writes, Dear Ben, is it true that you discovered electricity by flying a kite in a thunderstorm? No, young man, that is a common misperception. I did not discover electricity. It's been around a lot longer than I have. Uh, I can earnestly say, though, Ernest, that my goal was simply to demonstrate the electrical nature of lightning. Now, allow me to describe the experiment as I had written it down in a letter to a colleague of mine, one Joseph Priestley of London, who also happened to share my interest in the electrical experiments. It was a warm June evening in 1752, the night of my fateful kite experiment. The sky darkened that afternoon as rain began to fall from the lowering clouds. What poetry! <clears throat> With the first rumble of thunder, the good citizens of Philadelphia hurried indoors, just as I decided it was the perfect time to go fly a kite. My son William, who was, by the way, 21 years of age at the time, he wasn't a child like he's depicted in many of the famous paintings of uh, uh, showing the uh, kite flying experiment, no, he was 21, a young man, and he was there to assist me. Let me read on. Straight away, we crossed a field to a wooden shed from which to fly the kite. A simple linen handkerchief stretched over two cross sticks of cedar wood, with a tail, of course. Attached to the top of the kite was a stiff wire uh, to act as a lightning rod, extending about a foot above the, uh, the sticks. Now, to the kite was affixed a hempen string. And attached to the hemp uh, twine was another string made of silk, the end of which was held by me in the shed and kept dry. Now a metal key was tied at the end of the hemp string. William launched the kite aloft underneath flashing skies. It seemed an interminable wait, but at last, as the storm intensified, I noticed the hemp fibers standing straight out from the rope. The rain had wet the hemp string sufficiently to conduct the electric fire freely. At that moment, while well, not quite touching it, I placed my knuckle near the key and felt a very evident spark. <laughs> Yowza! <laughs> uh, I'm going to lose that now. I have here a uh, fairly accurate portrait, uh, an artist's conception of that, uh, the experiment. And there we are, William and I in the shed, uh, flying the kite. Do that. Well, Ernest, my kite experiment was a complete success. Lightning was just another form of electricity and not fire from the gods or some mystical uh, <clears throat> kind of a god's revenge on uh, unrepentant sinners. No, lightning was a form of electricity. And uh, we had we had uh, proven it. By the way, another misperception, uh, Ernest, is that the lightning struck the kite. Now, had that happened, uh, I don't have to tell you, Ernest, I might not be here to tell you the tale. Um, yes, indeed. Now, in fact, a year after uh, I had conducted my experiment in Philadelphia, um, another scientist, a uh, physicist in the Baltic, attempted to replicate my experiment and was struck by a giant ball of lightning uh, and killed. Um, a very rare phenomenon, indeed. Now, you kids, <clears throat> don't try that at home. You stay in school. <clears throat> you know, Ernest, I had originally planned to conduct my experiment from the steeple of Christ, Christ Church. Uh, the church had, and steeple had just been renovated and uh, with the new spire, it was the tallest building in North America in the colonies at that time. And I planned to fly my kite from the steeple. Um, it was one of the reasons why I joined the church. Well, the other reason being Deborah, <clears throat> my, my lovely wife. 
who insisted that we that we uh, attend church. In the end, I decided that it would be better to conduct my experiment, you know, from the from a field in the shed with flying the kite and uh, not, uh, you know, risk the wrath of the Almighty, if you uh, know what I mean. Um, after my successful experiment, I uh, continued to work on my invention of the lightning rod to protect homes of uh, Philadelphia citizens from lightning strikes and the resultant fires that occurred. And in 1753, I was recognized for my uh, curious observations on electricity with a Copley medal, a distinguished honor indeed, very prestigious. Thank you, Ernest, for your question about my electrical experiments. You're a very bright young man. Well, folks, that's all we have time for today. Um, and uh, I encourage you to send me your letters and cards. And uh, a simpler way would be simply to email me at bcarlton at gcls.org. And I look forward to talking with you next time on Ask Ben. So, remember, uh, stay out of the rain, come in and out of the storm. <laughs>